With backs to the walls, ATK plans to hit back against Goa. ATK does not have much of a choice. It has to go out and secure a win against FC Goa to ensure that their chances to the qualification to the Hero Indian Super League plays off at the Jawahar Nehru Stadium in Fatorda on Thursday evening. Steve Koppel's team has joined best defensive record in the league this season, have conceded just 15 goals in 15 matches. However, they have also joined worst record in the final third, having scored just 15 goals so far. With 21 points, the 6th place Kolkata based club and equal 4th place North East United on points with a win against Goa. Over this season, we haven't had an easy game, so it, it's very much, you know, coming to Goa, you look at the personnel they have, they got good players, you got a good coach, you organise them very well. Um, but our task is more or less defined. Um, you know, for us to be in control of our own destiny, we have to win the game. So we will try and win the game. Um, we'll try and get as many scoring situations as possible and try and do what a lot of teams have failed to do and, and keep Goa quiet. So, so Gilbera, the FC Goa head coach, told the media that FC Goa will be facing a great team but he would only like to talk about his players and their performance on the pitch. Last season, it was Lobera's Goa who ended the playoff hopes of Jamshedpur FC, who incidentally were coached by Kopal. The Englishman will be eager to ensure that it does not have an easy chase against a lose or a draw will effectively end their chances. <laughs> Winning tomorrow. Once you get into the game afterwards, maybe uh, depending on what has happened on the pitch, you can take that point uh, as something positive. But before the game, you you cannot say like uh, well, a draw would be sufficient. Coach, uh, not the play for Goa last year. Do you think he will be a factor in tomorrow's match? No? So the way I learned is Goa I only really want to talk about my players. Creo que nos enfrentamos ahora al equipo. I think we are facing a great team. Y hay que ganar a los equipos, no a los jugadores. And uh, we have to beat the team, not the, not the players. Creo que Edu García está a muy buen nivel. Um, I think Edu García is at a great form. Clinton D'Souza at the Bumblebee Athletic Stadium in Goa.